Hey guys, Dave Moore, iDaveMoore.com, coming at you with a big topic today. And the topic is, da, 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 fire clean. There's a big stank happening about fire clean and the claims against what the product is. As a quick rundown, the claims are that fire clean is just merely pure vegetable oil or pure canola oil. And there were a few tests done that somewhat support this. So I'm just going to read from the bottle real quick to kind of set the standard. Fire clean, advanced gun oil non-flammable, non-corrosive, non-hazardous, non-toxic, odorless, and biodegradable, just as a few bullet points. So the claims are that FireClean is just a rebranded Crisco oil. And in this video, I want to talk about my experience with FireClean and my opinion on the topic. Now, to start off, we have a few tests. There is the flash test that shows that canola oil and FireClean kind of flash and burn away about the same time. Well, the one I saw, exactly the same time. And the other test is here. This is a chart from a infrared spectrometer, I believe, and it shows vegetable oil, canola oil, and fire clean. As you can see, all of them, all of them are similar, but neither of them are identical, which makes sense to me. Vegetable oil comes from the soybean, and canola oil comes from the rapeseed, or so a seed, a seed oil. And fire clean is really kind of its own thing down there at the bottom. But to address it in short, do I think that fire clean has vegetable oil or canola oil in it? Yes, I think that the non-hazardous, non-toxic properties of fire clean is derived from vegetable oil or canola oil. It makes sense to me. We've got a few types of oils. Petroleum oils, which we have stopped using in the firearms industry because they burn away and they're flammable and hazardous and all that. We have synthetic oils like CLP and Slip 2000, break-free CLP. And then we have natural oils like your frog lube, which is your natural lubricant a lot of us know about. And I believe FireClean is going to sit in that category. And I believe I read in a blog that FireClean did say that they use vegetable-based products in it, but I have no proof of that, so I'm not going to say that is a fact or a fiction. So I do think that FireClean has a vegetable oil in it. I think that the lubricity and the oil, oiliness and the slipperiness of FireClean is derived from vegetable oil. Non-toxic, non-hazardous, non-flammable, all that good stuff. So FireClean, I, I do believe, is vegetable based. But I think that there's more to it than that. And I think in the chart, it kind of shows that. Now, the scientist that did that infrared spectrometer test claimed that he did not see any additives to it. So it kind of puts me on the wall. Well, do they have additives to it? I think that there is because FireClean does perform better than just some type of vegetable oil. Uh, in a second part of, of, of this video, I did do some tests. I cleaned a bolt of an AR that hadn't been cleaned in probably nine months with canola oil. And then I followed it up with a fire clean. I then took my trusty Glock 19, which has had about a thousand rounds through it. I cleaned it with canola oil on one side and fire clean on the other side. Now mind you, this was pre-treated with fire clean when I first got it before the first round was ever shot through. So I cleaned half with canola oil, half with fire clean. And I do get some results. Nothing that is too dramatic, too crazy, and too uh, obvious, but I do get some results from it. And hopefully in the video you can see it. Just as a forewarning, that video is going to be a little dry. It's going to be a little long, and it's going to be kind of boring. But I do get some results from it, something that is worth noting, taking note of, uh, rather. Now. There's another thing that's going on with Fire Clean that I kind of uh, kind of don't like, but I want to talk about. Larry Vickers did a test with Fire Clean. Now, in this test, he shot the gun dry. He shot it with a CLP, and then finally with Fire Clean. And apparently, the gun was cleaned between each lubrication, so to speak. Now, there's a screen clip right here that shows on the left the Breda M9 being shot with basic CLP and it has a brass casing with a brass primer and the casing is marked as PPU. On the right it shows a brass casing and a silver primer and the casing marked as Corbon. Now 
it would make sense that maybe he would use Corban plus P self-defense loads with fire clean so that there is more power and more debris coming out of the breach. And it would make sense that he would use just regular target loads, PPU, with CLP and when he shot it dry because it is a lower powered uh, round. So is this a fake or not? Is this staged or not? Well, there was a response by Larry Vickers where he said that uh, they use reloaded ammo. So as long as it was reloaded ammo, reloaded with the same bullet heads, the same powder, the same grains, and all of that, well then, yeah, it is a very uh, legit test. But if it was not reloaded ammo, and in fact he did use target loads for CLP and dry, and then Corbon self-defense plus P loads for the fire clean, well that shows a little uh, disparity of truthfulness there. So that's something I really don't know which is true, whether it is reloads or whether he did use uh, Corbon self-defense loads for the fire clean, but I don't know. Something's telling me that he could could have done it to kind of uh, dramatize the uh, the fire clean, but I really don't know. I don't have the facts to that, but that is, or I don't have the truth to that, but those are the facts. So take it as you will. My experience with fire clean, regardless of any of the previous, is good. I was a recommended fire clean by many reputable sources. I bought some fire clean. I've actually bought a bottle and then I purchased another bottle. Uh, do I think it is overpriced? Yes, I think it is a little bit too expensive for uh, what it is. Does it work? Yes, it does work. Uh, I use it on all my Glocks. I use it on my AR and I have had no problems with it. No jammings due to the mechanical function of the firearm. Uh, <clears throat> it does work. It does clean the gun very well. It lubricates it very well and it sticks around very long. So I do like fire clean regardless of any of these claims. Uh, it, the product works, it does clean the gun very well, and it is just something that I use and I will continue using it regardless of what people say. Do I think that this fire clean debate has been blown out of proportion? I think that it is blown out of proportion. I think that a lot of people felt betrayed, they felt duped, and they felt that they needed to express the, their opinion on the internet. I think that a lot of people are just mad about it because there's a test result that kind of shows something, but people didn't research it for themselves and they didn't take into account their experiences with the product. If the product works regardless of what it's made out of, why not keep using it? So, like I said, in this other video that I made is going to kind of show my results with canola oil and with fire clean and it kind of supports my beliefs on the product but it is not 100% conclusive just like the other two tests that were shown online are not 100% conclusive so stay tuned for that video make sure to keep your guns well lubricated keep your glocks dry and keep shooting